Hi guys, getting ready to do your reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Going to ask the universe for messages for Cancer. All right. Starting out with the Five of Coins, you have the Ten of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Magician. Wow. Another deck is the Four of Coins. Okay, you may be moving into a very nice phase here. Something new is coming in. All right, let me move everything over. I can see that we're all lopsided. All right, is that better? Let me see. Yeah, all right. So let's see what's going on for you with the Five of Coins to start. You have the Two of Wands, and the, oh wow. So you're really feeling out in the cold right now or lonely. Again, this might be somebody else. This may be someone else missing you. What is going on with this Five of Coins? One more, please. Yeah, because some of you, if, when you have the Two of Wands, see this is kind of hard because you know it looks kind of like you're choosing to be out in the cold, but you need to manifest something else. But at the same time, we're in this middle of this virus. Who can go out? Where are you supposed to go? Um, but let's see what this is saying because obviously something good is coming in here. Ten of Cups, Three of Cups looks like celebration. What is the Ten of Cups, please? The Seven of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So some of you are manifesting new love and you're bringing it in. It's coming in. What is the Three of Cups? Sun and the Ace of Wands. Wow, wow. Look, look at that. I'm sorry. I got a little bit tongue-tied and speechless there. It's like just focus on what you want. Do you want new love? It's there. Pick one of those cups and grab it. Uh, someone, this is showing me that's right around the corner. Don't lose hope and don't lose focus. Just because you're at home right now, maybe and you can't get out, don't um, give up because it's coming in. It looks like it's right around the corner, Cancer. And you have the Three of Swords and the Wheel of Four. Yeah, you're getting past this. You're feeling lonely, you're feeling out in the cold, but the wheel is turning. You're already manifesting. So don't let your negative thinking or heartache, or anything get in the way of this. What is the four of coins, four of coins? You have the knight of coins and the temperance. Okay. So this is kind of energy being stuck and not really doing anything, not getting out of your comfort zone. Again, though, I have to obviously say, if you can't get out right now, you can. So give it a little time. Maybe that's what it's saying here too. You can't really move. You're kind of waiting and stuck. So. Now let's see what is coming in though. We have Leo energy here, Sagittarius. Uh, what is this Ace of Cups? Who is this Ace of Cups? Where is this Ace of Cups? Seven of Coins. Okay, so you're kind of waiting. Because again, Seven of Cups, Seven of Coins, it's kind of like what type of person are you manifesting? What do you want to invest in? What type of relationship? What type of person? I always say the Seven of Cups is kind of like a manifestation card and you put all the details of what you want in each cup. What would make you really happy with the Ten of Cups? What is it to you? It's different for everyone. Where you want to live, the person you want to be with, this, you know, how they look, how they act, all that energy. So, yeah, it's coming in. It could be coming in within seven days, maybe seven weeks, but let's see. Yeah, we've got a new beginning coming in. Could be someone you're talking to right now, and maybe that you're, you have distance between the two of you what the five of coins is. Maybe it means that you just can't be together right now. If you're on quarantine or something, you have to wait it out. Okay, what is this? Seven of wands. Yeah, that's kind of like what's happening. That's kind of what I'm feeling. And again, another seven. So seven may be very significant. I don't have my calendar in front of me. Yes, I do. The seventh maybe of April is what I'm looking at. So that could be a Tuesday, maybe around that time. We'll see. What is the wheel of fortune? Page of swords. One more, please. Page of coin. Communication between you and this other person. All right. Yeah, I see you getting the love you want, Cancer. I see it coming in. It could be a Pisces. It could be really any sign, but it's definitely, it's, it's been put on hold, it looks like maybe for some of you because of this whole thing going down. But again, don't give up on it. It's what I'm seeing here very clearly. Okay. It's kind of a very vague, kind of a pep talk, isn't it, Cancer? So let me see if I can get you a little more specific message. I'm going to pull a different deck. Let me pull my Rider weight. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the messages for Cancer, please? And thank you. All right. There you are. Hierophant. It could be dealing with a King of Coin. It could be a new beginning with this person. You may not want this, though, possibly. It could be a Pisces also. Chariot, Two of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. So maybe you have an earth sign coming back in. This is somebody that you do know. I don't feel like this is the same person as the other side. That feels like brand new energy. They did not give us anyone specific. This one is specifically looks like an earth sign, maybe a Pisces. Uh, someone's coming back in within the next six days, seven days. So you're in communication though, probably not seeing them personally, but you will 
um, hear from them. They could be from a relationship you have already been in. They do want to communicate and they do want to tell you how they're feeling and they do have an offer for you. You can take this offer or you can move on is what I'm seeing here. It's up to you. So you could have a choice of moving on maybe to somebody new like we saw in the first spread or this person. Now there is the Knight of Wands here so I'm not sure if they are a player or they are possibly a fire sign. Okay, you may be very happy about this person though. I feel like either way you'd be happy with them or maybe you'd be happy without them and moving on. Or maybe you guys will move on together. They could be an Aquarius or again a Cancer like you. But it could be that you're really happy and so are they. So I'm getting new love, old love for different... Some of you do not want someone from the past, but this is saying someone from the past could be coming back in. All right, Cancer, let's see what the romance cards are saying. They're saying soulmate. And you also have flirt. All right, so either way, I feel like you're manifesting a soulmate, whether you want this one from the past coming back in or a new one. This person here is going to want to go out, which I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll be off quarantine sooner rather than later. You have a couple of cards here wanting to go out. Um, and again, I feel like they could tell you some really heartfelt feelings, some emotions, some things that, that have been going on with them. They may be changing their life path, their career or something also. I also get they may want to, if you were never with this person, you know, they may want to get engaged with the Knight of Coins. They want to take it to the next level is what I'm seeing. What is the moon energy? Devil, could be Capricorn, Seven of Cups, King of Swords. Okay, this person has really worked on their shadow side. Wow. They have really gone within and cleared out some old energy, cleared out some old beliefs. They're realizing some of their mistakes with this. Uh, I'm not surprised because this is going on a lot right now. So, I mean, they could be an air sign or Capricorn, but I feel like this is more someone who's kind of faced their truth, looked within, made some decisions, did some meditating and healed. So they definitely are coming back changed, it appears. Definitely also the Knight of Wands doesn't have to be uh, obviously a uh, player, but this person is coming in with a lot of passion because, you know, they are on fire. You know, the Knight, he's on fire. So again, that's that flirty energy. I'm seeing you guys really like this person though. So whoever this is for, um, again, I'm seeing that you do really love this person and you may want to get back together with them when all said and done. So, all right, Cancer, I'm going to leave it here. Have a really good week, and I'll talk to you soon.